Here with uh, John Papuchis and Coach, you got a, two of your positions. You kind of oversee. You got some guys coming. Let's talk about the defensive end position first, and and Holmes. And what what is he bringing for you guys? You know, from, from the very beginning, Dede was, was one of our top targets. Um, you know, really was solidified for me when I was able to go out and watch him practice in the spring. Um, his, his length, his athleticism, his size, uh, what his growth potential is going to be. It just, it's just really exciting to, to think about what his ceiling could end up being down the road. Um, you know, he was, he's a really good basketball player. He's got really good feet. And that translates so well to, to what we ask him to do on the field in terms of what we ask defensive ends to do. I want those long athletic guys that come off the edge. Uh, he's tough. He's got some leadership ability to him. Um, you know, he's got a really good family unit around him. Uh, so just in every way, uh, he fits you know, the culture of our program, but he also fits everything we're looking for uh, from a player. How hopeful is that for you recruiting defensive ends? I mean, you've gone from Jermaine Johnson, Averse, and everybody else. I mean, obviously you guys have been very successful developing defensive ends. Yeah, you know, we've, uh, you know, we've done it on both ends of it. You know, uh, you know Jermaine was, was here for a year, but I think everyone would, would agree that he showed improvement in that year. He was already a, a guy that had skill and, and polish coming in, but he, he grew yeah. as a player. And then Jared Verse was a little bit different. He was here with us for two years. And I thought he made a dramatic jump in terms of, of just his big picture uh, understanding and growth as a player um, during the time he was here. And, and I, was, I thought he had a really, really good uh, career for us. And then you got like a Pat Payton, who, who we recruited, yeah. um, put weight on him, developed. And keeps getting better every every week he goes out there. So um, you know that is something that, that we're proud of in terms of our, our development. Uh, we're very picky in terms of who we target. Um, you know I think uh, we've been able to use both the, the, the high school recruits that, that we want to be able to, to to develop and grow. But then we've also been able to bring in some guys through, through the transfers that have, have helped us out. And I think being able to, to hit all those ends is critical for us. I think you probably talked about D.D. Holmes a, a little bit. Like, you talked about the evaluation process and kind of when you decided, like, yes, he will be a fit, like, let's go after him in totality. Yeah, you know, it, it uh, his first visit here was in April. And I thought just from a personality mindset, um, what he was looking for, he was a good fit. But he really became our top target. Um, when I went and saw him practice in the spring. Um, you know, just the way he led the group, uh, the way he physically, I obviously was in the drill work, was, was tremendous, but his leadership, uh, his work ethic, just the way his coaches talked about him and, and the type of player and person he was, um, you know, he, he's, the, he's a good fit for what we're doing because coach will tell you, and it's something we talk about all the time, recruiting is more than just the skill set. You know, it's about finding the right fit and it's the right fit for us but also the right fit for the player um, because we want guys that want to be here and not just here for the short term but for the long haul and uh, DD fits us in, in every way. I want to ask you about uh, the portal. You mentioned that. I mean, how open are you to maybe bringing a guy in, whether that's in this period or maybe in the spring at, at defensive end? We're always looking to make our team better. Um, you know, we, each decision with that, um, you know, we're, we're, we're looking to, to, to do whatever's best that can put us in a position to be the best team we can possibly be a year from now. Uh, so, um, you know, when you look at the defensive end position, uh, we lost Jared. You know, Jared's obviously moving on. Um, to, to bigger and, and great things in the NFL, um, and we were able to replace with, with one high school and, and some possible other guys that that uh, could be joining us uh, here down the road. Um, so I think we're going to be in good shape, you know, at, at that position. Um, and I think when all the dust settles and, and we get through kind of the, this portal season and through that second signing day, uh, people will be really excited about where this class is. And guys, I have to ask you about Jake. I mean, bringing in the number one kicker in the nation. You didn't have to bring in a kicker this year, but obviously when you get a guy of that talent, I guess you guys just decided, we got an opportunity to sign this guy, we got to bring him in. You know, you don't, there's two two part thought process in, in that one. One is he's just too talented to, to let go. Yeah. Um, he was the number one kicker in the country, and, and it was for a reason. I mean, just super impressive. Uh, every time I've been out to watch him, I mean, he's just a very impressive uh, player, but also a great person. And then, um, I don't always love when a guy comes in as a freshman and he's the only guy on the roster. You know, he now has an opportunity to come in, um, have Ryan kind of there as, 
as a role model and leader and allow him to make the transition into, into college. And he's not going to be forced into anything early. We're still going to have him compete. I mean, because at the end of the day, the best player is going to play. But, um, you know, I think it's good to have, have an older player on the roster that can help in that transitional process. What's the optimal amount of, like you guys have four defensive ends that you use pretty regularly this past season. Is that like the ideal amount with five or six or does it just change every year what you would like to do? Yeah, you know, it's, it, it, uh, I think you want five guys who are prepared to play. Maybe you have more, then that's great. But realistically, it's hard to have a five-man rotation within a game. I think a four-man rotation is very doable, but you want to have that fifth guy there because inevitably, as injuries happen or things happen throughout the course of the year, you need to have somebody else who can get in that rotation. Um, so, you know, obviously the, the more good players you have, the better it is. But um, realistically, you can rotate four, and it's hard to get that fifth in rotation, but you can do it at times. It's just, you know, you got to have have roles, and you got to you know, have guys who understand the role within the defense. Coach Norvell talked about this at the end of his press conference. There are going to be times when you guys win recruiting battles, times when, when you don't. And like, if there's a player who's say been committed for a while, flips like at, especially at the end, you're obviously developing relationships with these guys, not just start brandy. It's like for you, how do you kind of compartmentalize or kind of rationalize like that that disappointment? Yeah, you know, I think I think it's a uh, you know when you when you, the way recruiting works now, you know, these relationships are built over the course of years and. Uh, you know, you, you do, you, I think on both sides of it, whether it's player to, to, to coach or coach to player, there is a certain level of, of relationship, respect, trust that's built over the process. And when it doesn't work out, I mean, there is some feelings about it. I mean, if there isn't any feelings about it, you're not putting your all into it. You know, so um, it is disappointing when things don't work out. But at the end of the day, you know, the, the reality of, of what we do for a living is tough decisions have to be made. Tough decisions are made on both sides of this. Sometimes it's coach to player. Sometimes it's player to coach. Uh, sometimes it's a coach taking another opportunity. Like things happen in this in this uh, business that that can be challenging. That that you know aren't always easy to do. But I want the guys that want to be in Florida State. And at the end of the day, uh, I have no concern in our ability to develop and coach players at every position on, the, on this team. And, you know, there's going to be some that really gravitate towards it, and then there's going to be some that, that think something else is better. But um, at the end of the day, we're going to always look for the right fit. Thanks, Coach.